So, the vice presidential debates happened last night, and it was a very interesting thing to watch. Especially considering there were, like, a bunch of internet people watching it and commenting at the same time while playing video games and memeing about it, but oh... I know some people may disagree with the sentiment, but... And I know there were a lot of people in the moment that were saying that Pence just didn't do that well. He didn't perform the way he could have, because they wanted him to kind of, like, take it and dominate it and just, like, pound everybody in the face. And it's like, oh, he's such a cutter cuck for just complimenting them and then going into, like, the topic. It's like, you know, the old adage comes to mind. Keep your friends close, but keep your enemies closer. So I'd been mowing a bunch of stuff earlier, and I, I was thinking about the debates, kind of like going over in my mind everything that kind of went on. Because it doesn't matter what the topics were, because if you listened to how the questions were phrased and framed, they were very much like pounding against Pence. And yet at the same time, he still kept that gentlemanly composure and that good sport attitude through it all. He was getting pounded and beat by them, but he still stood his ground to the point that he ended up beating back. There was a point where he brought up Kamala Harris's prosecution record and the things that she did. And she accused him of attacking her record, and it's like, wait, no. Th this is stuff that's already out in the public that people should already know. You don't have to attack the record, you just like sit it and lay it plain out like this is what your record looks like. There's nothing to it. You, you didn't do everything you could. See, what's really funny is Kamala had shown up early for the debates. And so she got kind of a small tour of some of Utah's historic sites, which are also church history sites because it's all pioneer a bunch of it was pioneer monuments. The news media shows up and asks her, talks to her, and she's like, makes the comment that, like, we just need to put our shoulder to the wheel and fight for our ideals, and this, that, and the other. And we just need to push on like these pioneers did, fighting for their religious freedom and this, that, and the other. And it's like, you know, one, I think it's was the Democrat Party locking everything down and telling churches that they couldn't worship together, but that people could go out into the streets and riot. So while churches can't assemble, you and for some reason, the Rona attacks church-going people, but doesn't attack people going to Walmart to shop. For whatever... I mean... People go to Walmart and shop on Sunday, but people can't go to church on Sunday and worship. You have many states suspended a person's right to peaceably assemble, whether it be for a peaceful protest or to worship. But people can go out into the streets and get away with rioting or violently attacking police, but they can't go and peacefully worship. And then there's also the fact that on Kamala's record, it's like she held back evidence for, oh, nonviolent drug offenses and things that would have set people free who were, I believe, on death's row. I Don't quote me on that. But I, there, she might have held back evidence that would have kept pe innocent people from dying. 
So when you go back to put your shoulder to the wheel and that hymn that she quoted, it's also in the context of do your duty with a heart full of song. She never fulfilled her duty. And then to continue on, we all have work, let no one shirk. Put your shoulder to the wheel. So not only did she not fulfill her duty as a prosecutor in that moment, she also shirked her work for her own benefit. And then she complains that like, oh, my record was just attacked. It's like, well, you've been attacking Trump's record and all the things that he's done. It's like you say he hasn't done anything. And he's put encouraged private manufacturers to come out with vaccines, ventilators, and everything else that we provide to the rest of the world now to fight a pandemic that really isn't all that deadly, according to CDC numbers and other numbers. And now she wants, she wants to dig that hole, but she doesn't want her record shown to the world, okay? Um, another thing that I noticed is there were a couple moments where she did have that guilty face when she was put on the spot with some of the stuff that Pence brought up. And then she had to try and deflect it, and the moderator didn't help. The moderator framed questions in such a way like, President Trump is doing such a bad job. It's like, you're supposed to be impartial, and you're not doing a very good job of that. Especially when... Early on, President Trump was criticized for doing a travel ban from China. When he took that step earlier on, he got criticized for it and said he was doing too much and overreacting. And then he's told that he's doing not enough later on down the road when he's in working with and encouraging private industry to fill in gaps that they can feasibly fill in. Um, one other thing someone kind of pointed out is that each time Pence talked about a policy or something, he didn't say, like, Trump's going to do this. It's like, we, the American people, are going to work together and work on this. We're going to need your help to do it. Whereas Kamala Harris is talking, like, Biden this, Biden that, Biden, 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 Biden. And it's like, well, I'd rather have someone that will include the whole American people to work in the process and not just and have rather than have someone that's going to put down the domineering hand to get things done cuz we kind of in all the years that Biden has been in government his nearly half a century there are all these injustices and things that people complain about, but yet he has done nothing about it, or he has voted in favor of those injustices that people talk about. You can go and look at past records if you want to talk about like certain bills. We've got those bills and who voted on them in public record online. There's no hiding that. You just have to look for it. People don't even take the time to look for that. So we can look at Biden's voting record as he's been in the Senate and things like that. We, we can even see what he's done in the two terms he was with Obama as vice president. And all of a sudden, all these problems are Trump's problems when he could have been contributing to breaking all those problems down before, but for some reason it wasn't an issue then. But once we have an outsider in as president, now it's an issue. Um, what else was there? Anyway, the debates were interesting. A lot of people said that the fly won the debates. But Pence pretty well held his ground. I think if there's something that we can learn from it, we can still have a good sportsman's attitude about things even when the game is rigged against us. Even when everything is framed against us, we can still push through and show that we can be a good sport about things. Because when you look at the way Pence 
treated the both of them. He commented the both of them in everything. But Kamala only threw shade and mud at him. And people said that he was just rolling over and wasn't being strong enough. But at the same time, for the general American people, that thing may... is the thing that they needed to see that in spite of having all the cards played against you, all the hidden cards that they had, he could still play his hand well. And he could still keep his cool. You, you could see moments where he was tired and sick of all the crap, but at the same time, he still was able to hold himself together. Kamala less so. You, ki you kind of saw it showing through that she was kind of like, uh, on the spot there because of some of the things that he brought up. But yeah, it, it'll be fun to see what happens with the presidential debates and see um, how many rules get broken then, too. Oh, another thing noted. Um, people were timing it, and the moderator gave Kamala more time, more than two minutes, whereas... Pence would have gotten less than two minutes. They were trying to cut him off before two minutes. They were really soft on Kamala. Moderator was really soft on Kamala on that one. If you go back and look at it, it it's just... Again, he, was, he did pretty well in spite of all the cards being stacked against him. And I hope that a lot of people were able to see that. See the... Games that were being played during the debate. Anyway, um, join the Discord. Come interact. I do have a politics channel. It's not all that active, except for like the memes that get posted in there. But there is one there so that we can keep the, the spicy talk into one place. But yeah, I will see you all in the later one.